for dinner? Start with a drink. Oh, hey, you want to be in the video? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll do it. This is Maxine from the Bay. Yeah. Joining us. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey, YouTube. This time I'm taking you guys in Tegan Barbuda. So if you guys like what you see, give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and click on the bell to get notified whenever I upload new content. So after a long flight from Seattle, I have finally... Arrived to my resort. Here's the front here. So I stayed at the Escape and Nonsuch Bay at Antigua, which is on the east side of the island, and was greeted right away by staff. Shout out to the lovely Kira. Then I was given a rum punch as a welcome drink. More on the drinks later. And now let's fast forward to where we take a look at the resort room. Oh, thank you. Check this out. Ooh, nice. Welcome home. Welcome home indeed. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks Andre. After check-in, I made my way to the main bar area of the resort. Keep in mind that it is all inclusive, and let's just say I took advantage of this fact as much as I could during my stay here. Then relax in my private outdoor pool, as well as in the bathtub, and got ready to go to dinner. So. So give me something nice in this one. Okay. With a view. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Every time we see you, ready to take some pictures? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally ready for this. <laughs> this one? Okay, let's do, let's do here. So we change this menu every evening. Oh, okay. It's a four course menu. You get one from each course. Okay. And I'll let you know what dessert is afterwards, okay? Okay. If you Sounds have steak good. or lobster at the bottom there, they'll charge you extra for that. But everything else is inclusive. In terms of restaurants here at Escape, there's one. And for dinner and lunch, you have to make a reservation. I didn't make a reservation for dinner, but when I came and checked in, they told me they made a reservation for me. It's a seafood fettuccine. Mm. Got some prawns, some mussels. Look at that. And they say it's seafood, they weren't joking. Good fettuccine. Here we have the pineapple curry shrimp. Oh, look at that. Comes with plantains. I think this is basmati rice here. And then here's the curry shrimp. Looks like there's chunks of pineapple. Good morning after one night of staying over at the escape here. Today's sunrise was about 6 a.m. Woke up to this amazing view. Look at that. So serene, so tranquil, and just lots of nice vegetation around. The skies are fairly clear. Love it. Shall we get some breakfast next? All right, let's go ahead and head off to breakfast. Here's this kind of main road that leads to all these resorts, the rooms, and now we're going kind of towards the front entrance. So for breakfast, mm -hmm. just... You go straight down, but they start at 7.30, okay? Oh, 7.30? Yeah. Oh, I'm early, okay. It's early, but it's all right. You can always, you know, wander around. Okay, okay. I'll do that. Okay. Thank you. Looks like I'm early. That. Perfect. 
perfect. Thank you. Okay, do I just choose anything? Anything. And today's special is going to be an Antiguan breakfast. Oh, okay. Antiguan breakfast with saltfish, chop up, lettuce, fried dumpling, fried plantain, and a boiling. Oh, that sounds good. Alrighty, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. Your and this is the price is no don't worry about, don't worry about it. it okay it's You're just all inclusive, all inclusive. okay thank you i right, have some fruit and toast hello. oh hello good morning hi, how are you doing? good how are you, you some coffee? yes please yeah, i see like your blogger kind of yeah <laughs> just for fun you're from canada uh, i'm from the u.s oh yeah do I seem Canadian to you? <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello. Thank you. It's very different than what I would have in the States, and I love it. And of course, we have to have plantains here. It's very lovely. On the day of my flight to here, I actually booked a half-day tour to see some famous sites in Antigua. Highly recommend if you aren't renting your own car but want to venture out of your resort. Thank you. So what's the name of this lookout point? Uh, well, it's actually, um, it's called a Willoughby Bay. Um, Willoughby Bay? Yeah. Okay. There's that whole bay right here. But I just want to show you that complex down here with the red roof. Because uh, we're going to see it on the other side as well too. Uh-huh. See that with the red roof down there? Yes. That's the rehab center for Eric Clapton. Really? Yeah. Eric Clapton? Yeah. Oh, that's so... Crossroads. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Rehab center for Eric Clapton. So here is Eric Clapton's rehab center. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now we're on the other side. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Shirley Heights Lookout Point. Oh, the, the, oh, this is the band. Yeah, here's where they're going to have the, the live band. Oh, okay. Down here where the ladies are, they're going to have the steam jump on there. Oh, okay. And everybody is going to be here drunk party. <laughs> <laughs> and rum punch. Yeah. Oh, this is nice! Look at that. And the way it kind of stopped. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is nice. Alright, I'm going to spend a few minutes here. So here in this area called Nelson's Dockyard is a UNESCO heritage site. This is actually where the British initially settled. When they came to Antigua, I think in the 1600s. And I believe this is where the first town was created in Antigua. I also love this area has like a bunch of boats with people who come all over the world, like the UK, the US, Canada. Naval Officers and Clerk's House. At the Dallas Hill Interpretation Center, there is a presentation that I sat in, which was really interesting. It talked about the history and culture of Antigua, about how the first original settlers came. And then afterwards in 1493, that's when Christopher Columbus also ended up there as well. He originally called the island Santa Maria Antigua, but then gradually over time, people dropped the Santa Maria part because it was too long, and so that's how Antigua got its current name. There's some goats. Goats are a little angry. A little agitated goats. On the, on the right? side, yeah. But like, it. They look like they understand the rules of the road. They walk on the side. Yes, yes. But, oh, except for that one. Yeah, well, he's probably uh, one of crafts, but he just realized he saw me. So, to, uh, as you can see, they're very clean cows. Yes. Yeah, they don't have kicks or fleas or anything like that on there. Wow, this is so weird. <laughs> why, why do you say that? <laughs> I've never seen this. Really? Yeah, like just in the road. Welcome to paradise. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> With their cowbells. Oh, Baby one oh, one of them. So cute. Oh, oh, look at that one. This tour, by the way, is awesome. My guide came prepared and offered me some fresh fruit, pineapple and papaya, which was appreciated, as well as a bottle of the local Antiguan beer.
We did stop by the St. John City Center area, but because it was Sunday that day, essentially everything there was closed. Cool to see nonetheless. And now back to the beach area of the resort. I just went to the front and told them that I want to come here, and so here I am. So I guess this is like the beach part of the escape. To the east of Antigua, there's an island called Green Island, which is great for also a half-day trip, and Escape offers daily ferry service. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Are you guys going to Green Island? Oh, awesome. I will say it's definitely a lot sunnier here in Green Island, and the water is a lot bluer. Kind of reminds me of Turks and Caicos, though I haven't been there before. But this is nice. All right, so Escape, they have a little custom slash amenity for the guests. So this little basket, you can actually go to the bar, order multiples of drinks, and have them put those basket and then just bring it back. So let's go ahead and try this out and see if it actually works. When the bartender saw me with the basket, he jokingly said, this seems like trouble. But I told him I only needed three drinks, two of which can be the same. If you made it this far, thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Just want to thank Escape for the amazing drinks and food, compliments to the chef, and especially to their awesome and friendly down-to-earth staff. Also thanks to my tour guide Cyril for taking me around and to some of the guests that I befriended at the resort. Until next time.